Hello, everybody. My name is Graham Elwood, and you're watching Boom, the Political Vigilante. Truth rising up. Yeah, it's hard. It's hard to find the truth when you got alcoholic cult leaders out there saying crazy stuff. Oh, man. So we talk a lot about the show um, about the environment. And I found this article that's actually pointing out how the corporate media deliberately kind of misinforms or just underinforms the population about how awful climate collapse really is. And this article, and I'll go into some of it, but it, it, it's a, it's a, it, it really points out this in as a reason, and it's a valid reason, or one of the valid reasons, though you're also dealing with, the, well, I don't think this article goes into this, but one of the things you're also dealing with is the, the tens of millions of dollars spent by the fossil fuel industry to put out misinformation and to be like, climate change isn't that bad, or make, I've shown you these videos in the past, the greenwashing videos like, Shell Oil is planting dolphins and gonna water them with pine needles and everyone's gonna float away on a green powered rainbow, thanks to Shell Oil. <laughs> You always have those nonsense videos. Um, so you are, we are, we all are are battling a multi tens, if not hundreds of millions of dollar marketing campaign every year by the fossil fuel industry, minimizing climate change, flat out lying about it, putting putting out their own studies that lie. And when people say, "Oh, climate change is a," see these QAnoners or anti-government people say, oh, climate change is a grift. They're, they're, they're so stepping over this obvious <laughs> fact of no one stands to lose more money if we get off of fossil fuels than the fossil fuel industry. They have literally trillions of dollars at stake if the whole world goes, guys, we got to stop with fossil fuels, they lose trillions of dollars. So to sit there and go, oh, these environmental organizations are a bunch of hooey and we're going to, I'm going to speak at some green new deal lie thing that's sponsored by fucking BP or whatever. God, people are such suckers. I'm indie media and I'm calling out to climate change because you're a sucker. You're a sucker. But let's go into this article. Taming the green, the greedocracy. American elites want magical technology fixes to climate change because they refuse to confront the truth that seriously addressing the problem will require limits to their own power and luxury. That's part of it. And this article is going to show is how they want everybody to still be able to, you know, live in mansions and have yachts and private jets. We just need to find a cleaner way to run that. They don't want to confront the fact that this keep consume, just keep consuming. We can't keep doing that. And there's going to have to be some sacrifices made and people are unwilling to sacrifice. Well, then the sacrifices will be made for you. And I'll show you how. The media are complacent while the world burns, Mark Hartsgaard and Kyle Pope declare in the Columbia Journalism Review. They did a study, and this is what they reviewed, all right? They did an analysis of 600 New York Times articles on climate change. 600. A UC Berkeley report states that the vast majority contained none of the five basic climate facts. A deliberate omission. 600 articles all missed this. So what are these five basic facts? And when you don't have these five basic facts in 600 articles, you can see why the general public might be like, well, I don't know. There's two sides to the climate debate. It's not a debate. Science doesn't debate. There's five islands of floating garbage in every ocean. They're huge. They're the size of islands. They're giant. It's all plastic. 
which is petroleum based. We can't deny this. We have record drought and then we have record flood. The Western coast of the United States, the whole Western half of the United States is in a record drought. But now just keep watering your lawns and washing your Lexus cars and just keep doing it. We'll be fine. We'll figure it out. There'll be another rainstorm. Here are the five basic climate facts that should be in every climate article or video, especially by New York Times, supposed to be so reputable. And it's, the, it's not fake news. It's not Fox News. This is part of the Democratic Party and the neoliberal establishment going, we care about the environment, but just don't, don't make it too scary. That burning fossil fuel produces greenhouse gases that create warming. That's one. 90% of climate scientists agree on the human causes of warming. Two, 90%. Three, that there is now more carbon dioxide in the atmosphere than there has been for hundreds of thousands of years. And that the warming is permanent. Right? Greenhouse gas, maybe I've skipped one. Fossil burning of fossil fuels create greenhouse gases. Greenhouse gases that create warming. 90% of climate scientists agree uh, on the human cases of warming. There's now more carbon dioxide atmosphere uh, in the atmosphere than there has been for hundreds of thousands of years, and the warming is permanent. I've shown you on this on this show the National Organization for Atmospheric, right? The NOAA, their map, a government-run agency's map, if you put in there, what's the country going to look like in 2040? Coastlines, most of Florida, gone. I've shown you videos on how they, they the, 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 the representatives in Florida know this. Well, now that Ted Cruz and the Republicans won, they're going to just keep putting their heads in the sand. Because the Republican Party gets more money from the oil lobby than the Democrats. But don't hang your hopes on the Democratic Party. They're just as awful. The Democrats are worse because they say they're going to do something about it and then don't. We just passed an $858 billion defense budget for 2023. 45 more billion than what Biden asked for. Bipartisan support. 83 to 11 in the Senate. Didn't nobody even, nobody even sneezed. No debate. No, no one on TV was like, how are we going to pay for it? That climate bill fighting. They added all this pork nonsense to it. $378 billion over 10 years. So less than half of just one year of war goes for climate. And it's not even like a real, it's some, it'll be some, but it's incremental. It's, it's not enough. We're going to just keep kicking this can down the road till the road is underwater and we're dead. <laughs> but back to the articles, the 600 articles that didn't have these five basic principles of climate change. To locate the incorrect assumptions that have led too many of us to believe that perpetual economic growth is essential and that consumption is a reason to tatry or whatever. I don't know why I got to put a French word in there to sound like you're a fancy pants, but... That's our reason to live. We need growth. We need growth. And if these, if these capitalists, all they, if, I mean, even just for their filthy capitalist brain of like, we need growth, we need growth. First of all, their view is that socialism is like North Korea, where the government tells you what jobs to have and everyone has to wear the same outfit or whatever. That's not what socialism is. It's just workers own the mean of production. That's what it means. Um, There could be growth in the green energy sector, but we have to get rid of fuel, of fossil fuels. We can't. This 2022 record amount of coal burn, which, which beat 2021, which was a record year. 2020 was a record year. We've been burning the globally. We've been burning coal. And then we're in this war in Ukraine and we keep sending money over there. Well, you can put your head in the sand and say it's bad for the economy all you want, but this will come soon to a city near you.
I want to show you this because this is coming. Whether you would think or agree or not, this is coming. And I want to show you this. Here you go, folks. Coming to an American city near you. Coming soon. Here we are. This is China because they've been having record floods. That is a good five to ten feet of water. Those are all cars submerged. Hey, man, I want my new car. I, I want to have a gas car. I want a big gas guzzling SUV. Well, here's what's going to happen to it. What happens when this happens in Manhattan? L.A. Miami. It's definitely happened in Miami. This is what the climate crisis looks like. Our beautiful home, luxurious cars, and money have no value on a dead planet. Does that look fun? That's what's coming, folks. That's what's coming. So do as much stuff as you can in your in your personal life to try to help the environment, but it's going to take big top-down solutions. It's going to take a mass. It's going to take a general strike. It's going to take people just walking out and saying no, because this is, we've already had, we've had floods in America. We've had record droughts. I shown you uh, in, in Texas in the summer, because we had record drought, I've talked to you about how scientists predicted this. The soil is so dry that when we do finally have rain or that area gets rain, the, the soil becomes like cement and it's too dry to absorb the rain. So then we had flat. Remember I showed you the flash floods across. We had Kentucky. We had the West. We had Texas. You think, oh, that's China. I hope it doesn't come here. It already has. And it'll only get worse. This is why, like, the Democrats only offer Band-Aids. Their incremental centrism is going to get, we're all going to be flooded to death and die just a couple years later than if the Republicans are in charge. That article said there's already more carbon dioxide in the, in the air than there has been for tens of thousands of years. Yeah, if we don't have breathable air, guys, guess what? The human race won't last. Just a quick tip. And anyone out there is like, oh, that's, you know, climate change is a hoax or whatever. You're literally repeating fossil fuel lobby talking points. You are such a puppet. You are saying things that literally were concocted in a marketing, by a marketing team and put out there on all forms of social media and everything else. And I see these people who are these like anti-government activists and then they say this crap. I'm like, you are such suckers. How can you not see the trillions of dollars the fossil fuel industry stands to lose and they will do anything to protect it, even if it means killing us all. And you can't deny these floods and these droughts. You can't deny it. But I guess you are. And you think you're woke because you watch some fucking idiot on Rumble or something. You get invited to some nonsensical conference where you badmouth climate change because, and you don't even realize they paid you to go there. Like a fossil fuel company created a, a, this, a, this organization that's the people for the citizens of ethical climate or whatever. They give it some bullshit like the American Petroleum Institute paid for it or whatever. You're a sucker. You're a sucker. Or you're part of the problem or you just want the money or you don't care or whatever. You're just dumb. And as long as someone's kissing your ass, you'll say whatever as, the che as long as the check clears. You have no ethics or morals. That's why you're not on this show. Shave your knuckles for justice. Follow the money, connect the dots, and get the truth. That's what we do here. A lot of people don't like it. They want to chase clicks. Sorry, I'm not an alcoholic cult leader. I'm just going to give you facts. Boom.
Hey everybody, thanks for watching. We are still in our like ninth month of demonetization from YouTube. So support what we're doing at patreon.com slash Graham Elwood or rockfin.com slash Graham Elwood, which is a blockchain cryptocurrency platform. It's free to sign up and there's a premium level at $10 a month. And for that, you get everybody on the platform's premium content. Myself, Lee Camp, Ron Placone, Jimmy Dore, Whitney Webb, Kim Iverson, Abby Martin, and many, many others. You can also support what we're doing at Venmo at Graham-Elwood and go to GrahamElwood.com. We have a PayPal button and a PO box. I also have crypto wallets, which are all in the show notes. Thanks for supporting what we do.